The shocking new health concerns over that train derailment in Palestine, Ohio, just over a week ago. It resulted in tankers of vinyl chloride going up in flames. Now, three additional dangerous chemicals have been found in some rail cars. A new video also shows the axle of that Norfolk Southern train on fire. Look at that as it traveled 20 miles before derailing. And it comes as we've learned three more dangerous chemicals were on that train, raising even more health concerns. Megan Lee from our affiliate in Youngstown, Ohio, joins us now. Megan, thank you for your time tonight. What have you learned about those new chemicals found on the trains? Nicole, we have learned that there were three new chemicals on that train, that Norfolk Southern train. Now, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency actually sent a letter to Norfolk Southern with those chemicals. I mean, these chemicals are very worrisome to a specialist that we spoke to. He said that it's a known carcinogen. It can also cause, you know, burning and itching of the skin. Um, it, it's just not very safe to breathe in. And this letter was sent um, to Norfolk Southern with those. And we also knew that you know, vinyl chloride was um, leaking from one of those train cars. That was a very scary moment for residents here. And, you know, the specialists we talked to also recommended to anybody in this area to speak to their doctor or to their health care provider and just let them know that they were in this area when those chemicals were in the air. I mean, I even went to my doctor today and just let him know and had it in my medical record just in case, you know, we get further down the line a few years from now, uh, you never know what could happen. Uh, the specialist we spoke to said there's a lot of what ifs with this train derailment. Nicole? Well, Megan, that's really concerning. I mean, if a specialist is worried, how concerned are people there on the ground? Oh, Nicole, it's it's been sad, honestly, speaking with residents. I, we've been here, you know, for the past 10 days reporting and keeping everyone up to date on the information. And a lot of residents have just came up to me and said, you know, we're just really worried. Uh, I spoke with a business owner a few days ago, and she um, told me that she didn't want to let any customers inside of her business until she had it completely cleaned and the air quality was checked. Uh, that's what a lot of businesses and homes have been doing around here. And behind me is the school, and a lot of parents were concerned if it was even safe for their students to go back to school here. They're just, they're really worried. And I, I don't, I don't blame them. Yeah. Very understandable there, Megan. What about state and local leaders? What are they saying? What are they doing? Yes, um, uh, Bill Johnson was actually here this afternoon. I wasn't able to attend that meeting, but one of our anchors did. And he tells me he um, kind of spoke about FEMA. He said it's too um, soon to get that. And if anything, any funding were to come to this area, it would have to go through the governor with FEMA. Um, and then he said it's too early to ask for legislation. A lot of people here in East Palestine are concerned with the trains coming through their town. I mean, those trains were up and running that night when the emergency evacuation order was lifted. There they're just concerned that trains are coming through here. But he said that it's too early to ask for legislation to make trains safer. Um, that was one of his big talking points. And he wants to wait till we see the final report about, you know, the axle malfunction that we heard about. I know the NTSB is investigating that. We will be getting um, a report in a few weeks on that. But again, he um, he said it's too early to say if we can have any legislation that would make trains safer. Yeah, and Megan talking about uh, Congressman Bill Johnson there. Megan Lee reporting for us out of Youngstown, Ohio. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.